So I want to do a practice problem with you on gas laws that have to do with pressure and temperature where you have to convert the temperature, okay? On your midterm review, number four in the unit two, on a sunny day in January, you notice that your front left tire looks a bit low. You inflate it to a recommended 35 PSI, which is 241 kPa. This is a number that I'm going to use in an equation, so I'm going to circle it. The temperature that day is a nice 4 degrees Celsius. Late that night, you run an errand, but you notice that the tire doesn't look as full as before. You look at the thermometer, which reads a brutal negative 11.1 .1 degrees Celsius. What is the pressure in your tire, assuming the volume is constant? The first thing we do for every problem, whether it be heat equations, gas laws, molarity and dilution and titration, is to read the problem and figure out what the problem is giving us and what it wants. It gave us a pressure and a temperature. This pressure and this temperature go together. It gives us another temperature and it wants to know what the pressure that goes with that temperature is. Okay? So now I'm going to list what it gives me. My first pressure is 241 kilopascals. My first temperature is 4.4 .4 degrees Celsius. Now, I cannot use Celsius in gas law equations, so I have to convert it to Kelvin. In order to convert it to Kelvin, I have to add 273 to Celsius. The equation for converting Celsius to Kelvin is on your reference tables on the formulas side of the reference table. So, on the back of the first page, on the side that says formulas, you go to the second formula, K equals degrees Celsius plus 273. So I'm going to add 273 to Celsius. And I'm going to get 277.3 degrees Kelvin. Now, they want me to find the pressure that goes with the new temperature of negative 11.1 .1 degrees Celsius. Again, I have to convert it to Kelvin by adding 273. Negative 11.1 .1 plus 273 is 261.9 Kelvin. And I'm looking for the second pressure. So I've read the problem, i figured out what they want me to solve for, and I have figured out what they have given me, and I've put it in the correct units. Now, if you go to, if you remember these charts, we said that these are all of the gas variables. We have pressure, volume, number of moles, or the amount of the gas, and the temperature. I know that I have an original pressure, and I know that I'm solving for the final pressure. I have an original temperature and a final temperature, which means that I am not using volume or number of moles, correct? So I can cancel those out of the equation. And the equation that I am going to use to solve this problem is P divided by T equals P divided by T. P divided by T is equal to P divided by T. 
it's important that you keep track of which pressure goes with which temperature so that you don't mix up the variables. So we're going to plug what they give us into the equation. I have an original pressure of 241 kPa and an initial temperature of 277.3 Kelvin. These two numbers go together. So keep them on the same side of the equation together. I am solving for my final pressure when I lower the temperature to 261.9 K. I take this equation. To solve for P, I have to do two steps. The first step is cross multiply. So 277.3 times the pressure is equal to 261.9 times 241, which is equal to 63117.9. Now, the last thing to do to solve for P is to divide both sides by 277.3. Divide by 277.3. And your final pressure is 227.3. 0.6 kPa.